correctly. This is the 22. This is what it looks like coming into the uh, coming out of the case, and it's already has the 177 on. What I'll do first is I'll just roll this barrel. This table is relatively flat. That's just the flat spot there. Seems pretty smooth to me. Okay, let's go ahead and pull off the 177. Before I do that, I'll just take a look at the, uh, the entire rifle. Well, this is interesting. You saw me open it up live. And uh, okay, it appears to be some type of wax or seal in there. Let me uh, zoom in on that for us. Let me zoom in, see if I can get some better light. You pull the barrel off to exchange the barrel, so switch them out. Just need an Allen key. Not just, but you will need an Allen key. Access to the underside, obviously. Go ahead and remove it. The 177. So I just rotate it, now you know you're loose. All right, so it does have arrows, directional arrows, right here. They, map, they line up with the top arrow. Come on, let's take a look. It's pretty smooth to me. Moving on from there, you line up, you line up the arrows. Well, that's an arrow of a type. Looks more like a crow's foot. Snug it in place. Rotate. I'll give it another little crank just to be sure. I kind of like it right there. Pull on it physically and cock the barrel. I mean, that is smooth. Let's install the scope. Scope mounts first. Scope mounts first. Have an Allen key for that, a separate Allen key. And a scoop. In which case we're going to have to we'll undo the screw fully. Um, put the mounts on first. And here's a scoop. Right and left. Okay. Not the prettiest, but. Fair enough. So the beaming part is facing towards the eye. Is your eye set up? Let's see how far I can get, if I can do this without taking it off. Yes. All right. Go ahead and snug that back in. Now this has a stop point. STOP, let me bring a light over here. Hopefully this is a little better. This is the scope stop right here. At the back of this foot gun. Rifle head or whatever. Okay. Now we're on there. We're gonna back it up to the scope scope stop. I'm gonna grab hold of it. I can lift the gun up on it. Great. Next. Gonna add the front mount. I'm gonna rotate this so it's 90 degrees to the right there. And I'm gonna go ahead and just secure it. Give it a nice little secure. I'll move it to the middle. Based on my eye, this should be about three inches from my eye. It's your cheek butt with your cheek against the butt there. Or if you like, you can your cheek against the butt. 
That's a play on words there. Tongue in cheek. All right, so I'm securing the, the scope mounts to the, to the barrel itself. And I'm going to check that mount. I'm going to grab hold of it, and it can pull the gun up. So that mount's pretty secure. Top the scope back on there. Now, when I look through there, I like to see it at a 90 degrees the eyepiece, so this might have to be rotated a little bit. We'll find out. Let me take a preliminary look. That's it. Now, of course, you got to zero this. Um, and I'll go over that in another video. So we're going to check the sound on this. On the uh, now that it's been fired once, let's see what the standard sound would come out the second time around. It was 119 a moment ago. One nineteen a second time. One nineteen. One eighteen. One nineteen. Okay, so it's consistently banging one nineteen. Oh no. First few rounds here. Oh, this is air, so pellet's not really helping me. It's not messing up the hammer or anything. That's how I understood it. 119. Okay. Now point it directly at the mic. Just to see if we can get any variances. Are they shooting face on or not? One nineteen, one eighteen. Well, it's shooting a solid one eighteen. Okay, that's all I'm doing for that. No pellets in it. Just shooting a solid one eighteen. That's just the. Oh, okay. I'll put a pellet in it. See if there's a difference. Give me a minute. Okay. So pellets in the in there right now. I'm going to shoot right across the face of it. Oh yeah, drop the whole two. Two points. Whoopee. Okay. So you can see that nothing really uh, is uh, gained by putting a pellet in it as far as noise. Well, point two does count for something. I think 10 decibels is double the sound you interpret. Um, so 0.2 or two points will, will count. Okay, so what I'm doing here now is kind of crazy. I'm gonna go out and see how far, what this sounds like on this meter um, a few feet away.
En het echo zit. Oh, hier. Inderdaad. En het echo zat de fucking in elkaar's huis. Wow. So I just went outside, I went about um, 20 yards away and I had the, the, uh, the pellet gun fired and this is what I got about 20 yards away, 95.6 decibels and it echoed off a neighbor's house, it sounded a lot louder than 95.6 by the time it came back to me, um, okay bye.